Hey everybody, so it's the weekend and we are going to go out and check out what's going on with the raffle plane. So they've been out there working on the wings. We haven't seen the wings in a while, so let's go see what they're doing and make sure they are working. Alright, here we go. There's actually walking room today. Oh, I see people. Hey guys! We are Facebook living so people know what's going on going into their weekend on the raffle plane. Cool. We are putting micro aerodynamics vortex generators on one of the wings. Um, and we've got the engine getting uh, all of its accessories put on. Uh, I can tell you a little bit about Vortex Generators, uh, sponsored by Micro Aerodynamics. And they are these little guys. They look like yay. And we've painted them. And How did you paint those? We take uh, tape and turn it inside out and put it on a board, staple the tape down, and then stick these to the tape. And then put them in the paint booth, spray them. And are they all the same color? Um, yeah, we're just trying to match the, the where they're going. So we've got them set out there right now, but they're all loose. And these templates, we measure out, follow the instructions, measure out everything, and then uh, place these stickers down there. And then Andrew's going along cleaning all that surface so that the glue will stick. And then there's a two-part glue you put on them, and you just stick them in the little hole that they're supposed to go in. And then you peel all that off, and they're in place and what these guys do is they create a little vortex as the air comes over it spins the air which re-injects the boundary layer okay, wait I have to back up so I can get your animation can you do that again <laughs> so it causes the air as it's coming up on the wing to spin and creates a little vortex at each one of these so it causes a, a re-injection of the airflow into the boundary layer that's on top of the surface of the wing and ultimately what that does for you is it slows down your uh, stall speed, slightly increases your cruise speed and probably the most important thing is that it it makes your stall a lot less aggressive when the wing actually stalls instead of braking it just kind of gets mushy so you can still control the airplane to some degree. So and do they, these just go on the wing or? Do um, yeah there's out. some that go on the bottom of the horizontal stabilizers to help the tail do the same thing so your mm -hmm. elevators don't stall and those would be white because the horizontal stabilizers would be white so if you guys want vortex generators on your airplanes contact micro aerodynamics mm -hmm. and they will get you all set up with the kit you need specifically for your airplane because we can't just take these and put them on a 180 can we not not this particular set because they're not these are for certified for a super cup but they do have them for Cessna 180s and a whole bunch of other airplanes so they're they're probably one of the best mods you can do they're super lightweight and they're fairly um, very effective um, and affordable um, so the other thing is a little bit different about these wings is they have the crosswind stole kit so the, the leading edge is typically here but they have an extension on the leading edge that slightly droops the leading edge. Uh, and when you put vortex generators on, you just put them on where you would, the way you normally would. Um, you see, you have that jig out here? Yeah. He's getting a prop. So this little guy comes with the kit. Okay. Add placement <laughs> for micro aerodynamics. So this is a little jig that you put on the wing and it tells you where you're supposed to mark, make your marks. So if you didn't have that droop leading edge, they'd be back here. So you just bring them down the leading edge. Oh, huh, that's cool. Um, and Charlie Center and Crosswind Stole, they sponsored the leading edge kit. And there'll also be a big stall fence that goes down the top of the wing and a little piece out on the wing tip. But those are um, in primer and still need to be painted. Um, I can show you a little bit about what we're doing on the engine. Sweet. So um, this is overhauled by Western Skyways and it's going to have a constant speed propeller. So we have the governor that was sponsored by 
Western Governor Overhaul and Exchange. Western Scott. Yes. No. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, Western Skyways. No, Western Skyways overhauled the engine. So it's Western Governor Sky Overhaul. West Governors. And, all right. It's too bad we can't cut and Wings redo West. that one. <laughs> yes, Wings West, Governor Overhaul and Exchange. Sorry, it's a mouthful. It's kudos, kudos to them. Yes, it is Friday. Weekend's almost here. We got a Skytech lightweight starter. And behind that, we have the Sutton exhaust, Ooh. Which, which is really nice because it brings the exhaust muffler, this whole deal, onto the forward side of the engine instead of where it normally goes across the back of the engine. So you have a lot more room to work back here. It's very mechanic friendly um, and it increases performance. Isn't it supposed to be really light too? It is pretty light. Yep. Um, these are the Tannis preheater probes that go up into each cylinder and these will all connect and they will connect along with the oil pan pad which is just got glued on today so it's taped in place until the glue sets. We have a BNC oil filter adapter assembly. Um, it will have, the reason it only has one magneto right now is because uh, we're waiting on a couple of parts and then it'll get a drive unit for the electro air electronic ignition. And then this guy here is going to house the plug for the Tannis preheater so you can just walk up and stick your plug on there and this little light will come on to tell you that you have ground power to your preheating system. Oh nice, so you'll know it's on. Mm -hmm. And then down here we have the lightweight plane power 70 amp alternator and we're waiting on a belt for that uh, yeah so there's the engine wings um, you probably remember the fuselage was sitting over here the other day it's now in the paint booth and it just got its first two cross coats of silver and we're going to sand that out and spray another cross coat of silver and then we have to wait seven days for the solvents and the paint to gas off before we can paint it. So during that time frame, we're going to be rigging the engine and the cowling and getting everything lined up so that it's all ready to go for that final paint and assembly. So that's where we're at. Um, yeah. Cool. Alrighty. So if you guys have any questions or if there's something specific you want to see on the raffle plane, uh, let us know and now that we have pretty much all of our parts and pieces here we can uh, do some specific videos. Cool. Alright. Have a good guys. weekend. <laughs>